Hello everybody, my name is Ketemon. Welcome back for another video of Journey of Wrestling. We're going to continue this series. Uh, we're going to try and do uh, three pay-per-views in this one. I'm trying to try and advance as much as possible, boys. Uh, but because I, I don't want to waste too much time of yours. So what I'm going to end up doing once uh, I'm doing the, ba the booking, right? I'm going to actually uh, book the matches and then show it to you. Uh, show the matches that I've booked because I don't want to have... To go to the process of actually choosing every single wrestler, where who goes where and everything. So uh, that takes a long time or that takes a while sometimes. And I don't want to have to do that uh, transition wise and stuff. So I'm just going to cut that out into the videos. And all you're going to see is me, uh, the actual final thing where these, um, the, the match is available here. I'll show it to you basically. When we get here, the matches, everything that's booked, you're going to see it. I'm going to uh, talk to you about it, boys. And that's all it's going to be. Uh, we're going to go to manage roster as I'm still going to show you guys, though, when we go for a sign-in or something like that. We're still going to show you. Uh, obviously, now we went and asked uh, Tajiri to join us. So he's going to join us next month in October. So that's pretty good. We're still working on the Charisma for X-Pac and... We're looking to buy out uh, Combat Zone Wrestling. So let's hope that, well, they did accept that uh, next month, I guess, is going to be when we're going to take their roster. So not only do, are we going to have Tajiri, we're also going to have a lot of their wrestlers. So it's going to be interesting. For now, though, let's jump onto it. Uh, let's jump on here, see what we can do. Multi-man match. Um, maybe I'm not going to actually skip it for now. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to do a triple threat, right, or not a triple threat, but a singles match. So let me just go ahead and skip that out. Like I said, it's going to be transition time until the, everything's booked out. All right, so everything's done, boys. The matches are complete. As you can see right here, we're going to have our main event, which is going to be Rob Van Dam versus Jake Roberts. We're going to continue a singles match. No blow-offs uh, at all today. Uh, this is basically a match that the AI decided to put on. So they decided to put on Colbert versus Kurt Angle versus Kejimoto, Roddy Piper, Eddie, Chris Benoit, Kurt Enning, Ricky Steamboat. That's the AI that decided to do that. So they wanted to do that match. I'm all about it. If they wanted to do that match, that's fine by me. We've also got the World Championship match, which is obviously a multi-man match. Now it's Sting versus Ric Flair. Stone Cold, Mickey James, Jeff Hardy, and Brock Lesnar. A six-way match, boys. We got Terraform versus Just Incredible from the AI's perspective. Trish Stratus versus CM Punk, Matt Hardy, Medusa, Hedge, X-Pac, and El Rico in a street fight match. Gail Kim versus Beth Phoenix versus Lita for the Women's Championship. So that's how we're going to roll it out. Uh, Production-wise, we're going to go ahead and do our main event package as usual. So put that all the way out there. Do we have a brand new feud that we can probably boost out? I think we have a one. I think we can boost out... Uh, let's see real quick. Feud package. Where's it at? There we go. I think we can boost out uh, these feuds right here. I think we already did it for this one. Uh, but uh, I think we can do it for Trish versus Lita, right? So let's do the Trish versus Lita, boys. We, uh, Push that one up uh, big time. Although it is a feud that uh, is not ongoing right now. Now I'm going to delete that because it's not a feud that's actually uh, ongoing right now. So maybe I want to do instead something like Brock Lesnar versus Jeff Hardy. I already did that one. I'm going to do CM Punk versus Trish Stratus. Yeah, I didn't do this one yet. So we're going to do this one. Add the feud up. And then we want la one last thing. We are going to do a push-up contest or a promo battle. A fight, once again, would be great. But uh, let's just push up a uh, return package. Let's do a return package for Paul Eamon, boys. He's going to be back in two months, I believe. I'm pretty sure he's going to be back in two months. So let's, let's do uh, a, a return package for him. Unless he's not back in two months. He's not? I thought he was, boys. Uh, never mind then. I guess he's not back in two months, so what I can do then is not a return package, but an actual new gimmick, feud, event. I'm just going to do event package. There we go. I'm just going to do an event package and uh, basically boost up the next event and stuff like that. That's all I'm going to do. So let's go right into it, boys. Go right into it. Crossing the line. First pay-per-view of the day for us. 
it's going to be interesting to see what the fans want uh, as in terms of who uh, is to win for the championship. So they want the fans want Raven them to win the title. They want uh, Sting to win the title, CM Punk to retain, and Lita to retain via cheating. All right, let's uh, let's do all of it, boys. 100% effectiveness for the event package, which is fantastic for our next event. Really good. Um, women's championship match right off the bat. We're starting with that. Lita versus Gail Kim versus Beth Phoenix, boys. Now, remember, the fans wanted Lita to win. So we're going to give the fans exactly what they want. They want Lita to win. We'll give them, uh, we'll give her the win. So straight up, Lita wins the match. It's a four and a half star to start it up. Pretty decent. She's, is, she's going to be champ for three months now. So that's pretty good. Feud between Lita and Beth Phoenix became stale with the fans lowering the overness of its participant by 9% each and decreasing its hype. All right, so the feud between these two is uh, getting stale. So we should probably blow it off now. Yeah, it, it's actually trending down, which is not a good thing. But uh, it we need to actually blow it off now, I guess. Uh, next up, this huge match, five-way match right here. Uh, I don't know who I want to go for right here. I think I would just want to continue to go for whoever's the least over right now. I think that would be the best option is to just keep getting, uh, giving the win to X-Pac uh, big time. If I don't remember, who uh, who is it that was pushing again? I don't remember. I know it's not X-Pac that I was pushing. I was pushing someone in particular. I don't remember though. But uh, let's just give the win to X-Pac though. There we go. Just give him the win as usual. Four star, uh, four star match, pretty decent. And uh, El Generico slash Sami Zayn is work rate right, right up to a three uh, level three boy. So even better. It's gonna be he's gonna be an even better wrestler now. That's exactly what I wanted. So no bad matches at so, uh, whatsoever so far. Feud package between these two, pretty good. Eighty five percent. I was pushing CM Punk. That's right. That's the guy I was pushing. Yes, I was pushing CM Punk, so he's got to get one last win uh, before the next event. So unfortunately for uh, Trish Stratus, CM Punk's got to win that one. So she's going to have to sit that one out. And uh, it's not going to be a screw job because I don't know if we already did that finish. So we're just going to give up straight up the win to CM Punk. Pretty decent match, five, uh, four and a half star. And uh, both of them went up in terms of morale and everything. In terms of morale and overness. So that's really good, boys. Yeah, they're pretty much uh, uh, done in terms of uh, popularity. They're both went up, so that's fantastic for both of them. Next up, zero hype between these two. No hypes whatsoever. Just incredible, Terry Funk. I don't know who to go for right here. I I'd say Terry Funk doesn't has the least amount of wins right here. But uh, then again, you know, I should probably go for the guy that has the least amount of morale, actually, now that I think about it. I should probably do that, boys. And Terry Funk is ju doing just fine. But I think Just Incredible needs to win a little bit more right here. So we're going to give the win to uh, Just Incredible. There we go. Pretty bad match overall. Nothing to it, really. It's just a three and a half star match. So not a good one. And Terry Funk keeps losing. He's 0-11, boys. Hasn't won a single match yet in his career. Pretty terrible for him. World Championship match. It's time Brock Lesnar is defending his title. He's been champ for four months. Uh, and the fans wanted... I think the fans wanted uh, Brock Lesnar. I actually don't remember who the fans wanted to win, boys. That's kind of a problem. I don't remember. I don't remember who they wanted to win. I know they wanted uh, uh, Rob Van Dam to win the, the, uh, the main championship. But I don't know who they wanted to win for this one. I think it was Mickey James, wasn't it? I think they wanted Mickey James as the champ or something like that. I'm pretty sure. Let's get the, the, the W to uh, Mickey James, I guess. There we go. Mickey James gets the win because the fans, that's what they wanted. So um, there we go. Mickey James, brand new world champion, boys. Four and a half star, kind of a, almost a five star match. So it's an all right match. We didn't get a single great match yet, though. So uh, would, now would be the best time to, uh, to have one, someone, f something like that. Sam Punk is actually becoming uh, face of the company as well. All right, so here comes the big time match right here. Two, four, six, eight. Eight man match right there. 95 hype. That's the AI that decided to put that match together, boys. 
So uh, th that is something for sure. That is definitely something. Now I don't know who I would push right here. Thinking the less uh, happy uh, person, so it would be Kurt Angle, who I would push. So uh, maybe that's the guy I would need to win right now. I'm just gonna give the win to Kurt Angle right here. Boom! It's actually a pretty, uh, pretty good ending. It's a good ending. Kurt Angle gets the win, gets a huge boost from that as well in popularity at least, and it's another match basically the same uh, as the previous one. So it's a pretty decent one. And everybody goes up in terms of popularity, so everybody gains from that. Li I like to see that, boys. Main event package, 95% uh, effectiveness, really good. Uh, now, they did want Rob Van Dam to win the title back. So we'll give them what they want, I guess. We'll give them Rob Van Dam, uh, Rob Van Dam the title or something like that. So we could do another ring collapse, but already did that, that ending between these two. Let's just do a respectful a respectful end. He'll turn his face. Uh, I can't do that, I think, right? Because uh, Jake Roberts is a heel. Rob Van Dam can turn it into a face, boys. No problem. But we need him to win, so we can't do that. Uh, the respectful end means that the heel would, uh, would lose. So no matter what, it could work for both, but... Can't do it for Jake and Rob Van Dam either so right now. So what we're going to do, we're just going to do throw in the towel. We can literally do that, yeah. We can do throw in the towel for these two. And uh, Rob Van Dam wins because of that. So let's do that, boys. Throw in the towel. Cool spots as well, which ended up uh, ends up being a, a, the best match of the pay-per-view. Five and a half star match. That's, how I, that's what I like to see. Exactly what I like to see. And Rob Van Dam... Is now a five-time champ, I, f I believe. Five-time EC the or WEC heavyweight champ. So, uh, big-time champ. Man. Rob Van Dam is literally our fa the face of our company. He wins the championship so many times, I swear. Almost a five-star pay-per-view. Could have been better. But uh, we'll see where, uh, where this leads us. Tadri off to us. Yeah, sure. So, crossing the line, we still got plenty of fans. Gained plenty of fans from that. Not a lot of like people showing up that much compared to the other ones, but uh, still pretty decent overall. So there it is. And now officially it's time, boys. So it's officially time to choose uh, our roster, to choose who we pick from them. And now, uh, Paul Eamon has allowed you to uh, a limit number of superstars and championship from combat wrestling. So I, I, I can pick 16, so 16 of their roster of the wrestlers and I can pick three of their championship. Now you already know what last time I, I picked up the world championship, but this time I'm not really interested in picking up their championship whatsoever. I'm going to let it die. To be honest, I'm not going to pick it up. I am going to pick up Hulk Hogan for sure. Uh, pick up uh, Scott Hall. I don't know. Triple H for sure though. So still uh, Scott, uh, Triple H and uh, uh, Hulk Hogan for sure. Ultimate Warrior, I'm not entirely sure. I am going to pick up Macho, Macho Man, though. Because we do have Miss Elizabeth, so that would be a really good one. He's retired, but it could be a really good one nonetheless. So we're going to pick up Macho Man. Who else do we want to pick up in this? They don't have a lot of wrestlers, per se. Uh, I, can't pay, I can't get uh, Shane McMahon, so that's a shame. I kind of wanted to go for him. Dustin Rose, no. I guess I'm going to pick Ultimate Warrior, Scott Hall, boys. We'll pick all the old-timers, I guess. David Flair, not really. Patriot, I don't care. Fit Finley, maybe could be a good one. But I think that's all I'm going to take. Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to take, boys. That's the only thing that's interesting in me right now. So we're also going to send them to, uh, to the main roster. Um, the rest, I'm not going to take anything from that. Yeah, I'm not going to take anything. So leaving the championship, not taking any of their championship. Just taking their roster. So... Last night, I caught Miss Elizabeth using illicit drugs. You have two options. You can either suspend her for a couple of months and put an immediate stop to the drug use, or you can or ignore the issue. If you don't do anything, the drug use will probably continue negative, negatively affect her skills. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be forced to suspend uh, Miss Elizabeth, boys. All right, so we're suspending Miss Elizabeth. We've got Tajiri coming up as well. Uh, so that's pretty good. So she's been suspended for two months. Right as we get Macho Man as well. That's crazy. So we bought them out. Excited. Everything. Yeah. Can't wait. New talent. Skill increase for El Generico. Really good. We're still working on an X-Pack for another month. 
All right, so take a look at our roster really quick. What we get? What do we got? We got Alt, uh, Ultimate Warrior and Scott Hall. So what I'm going to end up doing really quick, I'm going to resign them. I'm going to do resign plus for both of them, because there's still uh, I don't want I don't want part timers in my uh, in my company. Everybody is a full time unless you are retired. So we got that done. So now we've got all Hogan back in the mix, boys. Now he's a one star. He's a dull worker. He's also the CZW world champion, but the, the, the championship itself is kind of, uh, it doesn't mean anything anymore. I don't think we have it, right? If we take a look really quick. Oh, we do have the championship. They gave it to us anyways. All right, well, we're going to retire that championship. Yeah, we're going to retire these championships, boys. All of them. There we go. All the CZW championships, we're all retiring them right there. We don't, we have no use for them anymore. So uh, there we go. So Hulk Hogan is not going to be the champ anymore. There we go. But uh, he's still pretty good now. His Hulkamania a gimmick is kind of getting stale a little bit. But uh, I'm going to try my best to uh, make it so that he has a good time. So most of these guys, we're going to give them a chance. These old timers still have a three months uh, without Paul Lehman. And another two months suspended for Miss Elizabeth right now. Ren, a macho man is an Hall of Famer, so he's retired and is already in the Hall of Fame. So there's no use of making him come back, per se. I mean, we could try and make him come back for one last match, maybe. Pair him up with Miss Elizabeth for all time's sake. You know, he's, he should be with her. But uh, I think since we don't have him anymore, what we, uh, since he's a retired guy, we can just simply transition him into a manager as well we could do that boys or we could just literally uh, bring him back like say artifact wolverine nope call up return R ring return full-time comeback this is a full-time comeback but we could do an actual ring return so bring back a retired superstar who is not all of famer for one man well he, he can't be all of famer in order to do that so we can't do that. I think we can literally try and get him back all together from the retirement. But the problem is, I gotta, I gotta see though. Is he good? Is he good enough to wrestle still? Because he's 51, boys. He's an entertainer. He's got gifted acrobats, natural charisma and everything. I want to pair him up with Miss Elizabeth. Get another one last run or something. But I don't know, boys. I don't think it's a good idea. Uh, now in these times, not it wouldn't be too long where he would actually die from a tragic accident, uh, a car accident in real life, uh, in 2003 or something like that. So it's not too long before he actually dies. Uh, I don't know, boys. I feel like he should continue to wrestle a little bit. I mean, he would still be over. He would still be pretty good. I think it's too a bit too late though. So we're not gonna bring him back. We're just gonna. We're going to transition him into an actual manager right here. That's what we're going to do. Uh, we're already working on X-Pac though, so we can't do that. We're going to do in-ring return. There we go. We're going to do in-ring return for Re Macho Man. One more return. He's back in the ring. Once and for all, boys. So he's back in the ring. What we're going to do though as well. Managers, add a relationship. So obviously we're going to add Miss Elizabeth and we're going to add her to Randy Savage. That is perfect. There we go. So we're going to remove a relationship between Miss Elizabeth and Ric Flair. So she's not going to be the manager of Ric Flair anymore. She is going to be the manager only of Macho Man. So they're back together, boys. The reunion once again. So that's fantastic. So before, between all of the wrestlers that I've got right now, who is the one between Tajiri and all the old timers? Who is the one I want to push right now? That's the question. I think I want to push my old timer. I want to push Hulk Hogan, boys. I want to push Hulk Hogan. Why not? He's back. I think it's time to push him back. It's time to give him a chance. Why not, right? So let's do that. All right, so there it is, boys. That's the matches right there. As you can see, there's a lot of matches. A huge event right here. It's actually uh, a lot of matches right now. I don't know how many of them there are, but it's a lot. So it's going to start off with Robin Dev versus Jake. We're going to blow off that feud, obviously, once and for all. Chris Benoit versus Ric Flair. Now, every single match that you see here, the extra matches, they're all done by the AI. So the AI basically did everything by themselves. So two out of three falls match. Chris Benoit versus Ric Flair. 
Stone Cold versus Mickey James. That's uh, how we're going to start up the feud. Mickey James defending our title in a few new feud against Stone Cold. C Ricky Steamboat, Eddie, and Kurt Enning. False count anywhere. Casket match, Gil Kim, Medusa, Trish, CM Punk. And we have Goldberg, Roddy Piper, El Generico, Sting. Beth Phoenix, Lita in an LMS match. Jeff Hardy versus Brock Lesnar. Trish, uh, Triple H versus Kurt Angle in an Iron Man match. I actually, I forgot this one. I forgot to add a gimmick match. Everybody's got to have a gimmick match, boys. So just going to have a tables match, I guess. Triple H. Yeah, that's basically done. X-Pac, Ultimate Warrior, Star, Scott Hall, Keji Mudo. Just Incredible versus Randy Macho Man, boys. We're going to actually add his old costume. Hulk Hogan versus um, Edge. Tajiri versus Terry Funk and Matt Hardy. All right. So that's pretty much it. Now it's time to do... It's time to do the uh, main event package, all the pay uh, packages. So main event package first. Let's bring that all the way up there, right there, really quick. Just like that, main event package. Feud package. I think it would be fantastic to do a feud package as well. Uh, we haven't done uh, Trish versus Lita yet. I don't think we have a, uh, we, we did that one. So we're just going to, we're going to do that one. Trish versus uh, Lita. Now I don't know. If it's anything right here, we're, we're just going to put it before that match, I guess. We're just going to upgrade it. And uh, last but not least, we are going to do, um, I guess, a debut package because uh, we're going to try to push uh, somebody, right? So debut package, and we're going to do it for Hulk Hogan. Is it uh, a thing that we can do? We can't. Well, we can do it for Tajiri. So Tajiri debut package. Wait. You can't do it. You can't book more than 15 ma matches segments at this event. Oh, do we are we maxed out in segments slash? Okay, I, I got you. So we're b actually maxed out. We I got too many matches going on, so we can't do another segment or anything. Well, that's fine by me then. That's fine by me. Let's just hop on in then. We got too many uh, matches, boys, so we can't even do three segments in this one. That's kind of crazy. All right, so Arnarchy rules. Let's see what we got, boys. What do the fans want right here? Rob Van Dam to retain. Once again. Mickey James to retain. CM Punk to retain. And Lita to retain. So they want all of them to retain their title, basically. Interesting. All right, well, let's start it up. 12 match effect bonus as well because it's a submission match. It uh, goes up and the tables match as well does that uh, for this pay-per-view. So on the key rules, we're in October. Everybody, a lot of uh, wrestlers are going to make their debut for our roster right here. Uh, let's just see who do we want to win, though, uh, right here. I'm not entirely sure, boys. I would give that to the fans, really, what they want. But uh, I mean, J Tajiri would be great to give him a huge boost at the start. Terry Funk uh, hasn't gotten a single win just yet. So I don't know. I don't know who I should go for. I'm actually going to, for these matches right here, Unless it's an actual titles match or someone that I'm pushing, I'm just gonna go ahead and simulate boys all together. So uh, we're gonna add a fin. Is there no no finishes whatsoever? So let's just simulate, and Tajiri gets the win on that one. All right, Tajiri gets the win. Matt Hardy's work rate went to level three. Good, he increased boys, so he's a better wrestler now. Submission match effect went up as well. So good. Really good. A pretty decent match as well to start it up. For a second match of the pay-per-view. Hulk Hogan versus Edge. Accompanied by Lita. Minus 10 hype. Now it's face versus neutral. Is that why? Yeah. So Stone Cold had a pretty good career so far. He's 19% over though. He's, he's cold. He's actually not over at all. He's actually cold right now. So we got to bring him back up. He's the one I'm going to... I decided that I'm going to be pushing. Uh, boys. So... Uh, we're going to give him a huge win right there. So we're going to just do literally throw in the towel to give a match bonus, a bonus effect to the match right here. So throw in the towel and Hulk Hogan wins via that basically. And uh, that helped out the match because there was literally no story. So it says no story, which basically downed the match quite a lot. And we got to remember Hulk Hogan is a bad wrestler right now. He's a dull worker and he's got one star of work rate. But we got to give him, we got to try and push him upwards because obviously matches are going to be pretty bad if he's not over. So we're going to try and work him out for three months at least. It's not going to be easy, but uh, we're going to try our work. So Macho Man, 
making his huge debut as well versus uh, just incredible uh we're gonna simulate that it doesn't bother us at all so macho man there it is he gets a huge win right off the start four and a half star match boys so pretty good uh for him it's a shame that Hulk Hogan's match is pretty bad, but uh, you can expect that, basically. Uh, we've got uh, Scott Hall, Kijimoto, Mo Ultimate Warrior, and X-Pac. So two, uh, two out of these four wrestlers actually are having a really... are, are brand new to our roster. So let's see who's going to win right here. Scott Hall gets the win. All right, four, it's good enough for a four-star match. So Scott Hall gets the win. X-Pac had a four win streak, but uh, I guess it went down to uh, to nothing right there because he got injured as well. Not only did he lose, he also got injured. So that's quite something. So getting injured just from that as well. So yeah, all right. So we got a dull worker and ultimate warrior. As long as we don't have two uh, dull workers uh, with each other, we should be all right. All right, so Cur uh, Triple H versus Kurt Angle. Uh, let's see what the uh, I guess the AI decides to uh, to give the win to. That's going to be a very interesting to say the least. Triple H? No, it's going to be Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle gets the win, but he gets injured as well, so he's injured uh, on his side as well in an Iron Man match. Pretty good match overall. So four and a half star match. We got two injuries back to back right there. Both X Pac and Kurt Angle. This is bad. We're actually already losing quite a bit of our, our roster, initial roster that we got. We're losing them to injury. Oh well. All right. So this uh, this feud right here, it's gonna blow off. It's a blow off because I don't want to have to deal with it for too long. So Jeff Hardy versus Brock Lesnar. Who's gonna win it? They're both a hundred percent right there, and they're both super over right now. So I'm thinking. Uh, well, first off, I'm just gonna do the same thing, I guess. We could do pass out, I guess. He's a face and he's a, he's a face as well. Okay, no. Brock Lesnar is a heel. He's a natural heel. So Brock Lesnar cannot uh, become a face, basically. So what we can do is Jeff Hardy becoming a heel by doing, uh, by doing the uh, any means thing. So Jeff Hardy becomes a heel. We can allow that, right? He's, it's allowed? Yeah. He's not a natural uh, face or anything. So we can do it so Brock, uh, Jeff Hardy becomes a heel by beating Brock Lesnar by any means. So let's do that. Jeff Hardy wins by any means, becomes a heel in the in, in that uh, stance. Brock Lesnar basically is, uh, uh, is bloody as hell. So that's a really good for almost a six star match. Really gonna help the, uh, the pay-per-view up big time as well. So good. Uh, already held. So I guess the feud package for these two was already a thing. So that's, um, it didn't really help them out too much. So I was right when I thought, uh, when I said it probably was held before. So that's my title, these two. We got to blow it off as well because it was a stale, uh, a stale one. So let's try and blow it off. Uh, we've got Lita versus Beth Phoenix. The fans wanted Lita to retain once and for all. So we're going to do, I think we already did the screw job finish. We're just going to give her a straight up win right there. Pretty good match, five uh, perfect match, five star match, boys. Really good, nice, 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 and uh, it helps both of them because they're both going up in popularity as well. So good, and Lita keeps the title again. A fatal four way, first blood match. Let's see between these two, who's uh, or these four, who's gonna win it, boys? Uh, Goldberg probably needs the most wins right here. Who's got the least amount of wins? Let's give it to randomize, I guess, like we all, uh, always do, boys. Uh, Sting is going to win that match. So Sting wins it. He uh, gets a W, and that's going to be a good enough for a four and a half star match. So pretty decent overall. Uh, that's a good. Next up, World Television Championship match. Two feuds on the line right here. There's the regular feud between these two that's still going on. But there's the feud between these two that's just happening because Medusa, it's an injury revenge thing. Uh, so that's interesting. Uh, CM Punk, do, they wanted CM Punk to retain the title. So we'll, uh, we'll do that. This is going to be champ for five months now. So that's a pretty long title reign for tri uh, CM Punk. Which I'm more than happy about that, I guess. The fans love him. And that's going to be good enough for five, five and a half star match, boys. Really good. Really good. 
So we're having some really good matches here to uh, to start it up overall. Aside from that one match over there with Hulk Hogan, the rest was really good overall. So I'm happy about that. Uh, any consequences at all there? Uh, Hulk Hogan is no longer still with the fans. Okay, so he's he's normal now. So good. That's good to know. Next thing, false count anywhere. Triple threat match between these three. I would say we should probably give the win to Mr. Perfect because he's got the worst record right now. But we'll give the AI the fate uh, right now. So the AI gets to decide. They give the, the win to Mr. Perfect anyways. And uh, cool spot. So five and a half star match right there. Uh, just like another great match. Another fantastic match between these three. So uh, as you can see right here, we're really having a good pay-per-view. We're having a fantastic pay-per-view. A lot of good hype behind it as well. A world championship match. Mickey James defending our title versus, uh, against Stone Cold. Uh, they wanted Mickey James to retain. So that's good news for us. We're going to do a screw job finish because it's the start of the feud. Mickey James wins via screw job. It's very good. In, in, in fact, it's the best match of the pay-per-view by far with a six-star rating. So really good, an actual six-star pay-per-view match, boys. Fantastic. And that, uh, almost uh, there to the the end. We got a two uh, out of three falls match between Ric Flair and Chris Benoit. Now, who do I want? I would want to win the most right here. Probably Chris Benoit because he's the one. He's the one with the least popularity. Really, I would go for Chris Benoit for sure. Let's just simulate it though. And Chris Benoit wins it. All right, so the AI decides the same thing as me. They give the win to Chris Benoit, and uh, he gets uh, he gets a W basically. And just like that, uh, that's not really a five star match, but it's pretty close. So pretty good overall. And main event package, as always, 100% effectiveness. And finally, the last match, the main event of the show, boys, elimination match between these two doesn't mean anything. Uh, it's just a one-on-one -on -one match, I guess. Uh, only Monster, Rob Van Dam versus Jake Roberts. One more time, blow-off finish, I believe, between these two. They wanted Rob Van Dam to win it or to uh, to keep the title. So we'll give them exactly what they want. Screw job finish, respectful end. We can't do respectful end and we can't, we can't do throwing the towel right now. I believe all we can do really is switch alliances. We could probably do switch alliances and make it so Bobby Enon actually skips over Jake Roberts, throws Jake Roberts away and goes with, um, I guess, Rob Van Dam. We could do that, boys. We could literally do that. And I think we're going to end up doing that. We're going to end up doing that. So uh, we're going to just do Rob Van Dam wins and Bobby Enon switches sides. So switch alliance, five and a half star match because of that. And Rob Van Dam now has Bobby ne Bobby Eaton on his side to manage him. And that's a blow-off finish as well. So that is a really good finish towards the end of it. And that's going to give us good enough to have a good five-star pay-per-view. So fantastic pay-per-view from that. Uh, you love to see that. That's for sure. We really want to see as much as that as possible. Main event or the event with prestige went up and everything. So yeah, that's a very good pay-per-view, boys. I'm very happy about that. We only have three companies right now. And uh, yeah, so we just bought them up. Yep. So we uh, we got three companies available. WCW is really the one I want to get. Once I get them, the, the whole thing is pretty much over the, uh, with, boys. But we almost have total control of the entire world right now. So Kurt Angle and X-Pac are both injured. I don't know for how long. X-Pac Charisma is done so we trained on his charisma Eli Medina is available injury so two months for Kurt Angle and another two months for X-Pac as well so both gone for two months so not too bad um, work rate matter this work rate went up and that's about it so now we can start working on somebody else I'm already know so if we take a look at uh, work rate we already know who we're going to go for. Obviously, it's uh, either Scott uh, Hulk Hogan or uh, Ultimate Warrior that we want to work on. They're both dull workers, but I want to work on Hulk Hogan. So that's the guy I want to work on uh, first. 
uh, big time for the the work rate and stuff like that so we're gonna do that put you on a work rate my guys so train you up train your work rate just like that and that is perfect just like that so is there anybody that's pretty unhappy or is close to unhappiness not really i mean there's macho man basically uh we probably could work on him so let's let's do that really quick where is he at let's go uh towards him reassure him really quick there we go we're gonna do that and that should be fine on its own uh we got still miss a little bit gone for another one month still and polyman everybody's gonna be back for two months in two months basically right here so we gotta keep it moving november to remember six event bonuses I can't do a quit or submission match though, so I gotta keep that in mind. Let's do one uh, one more pay-per-view, boys. All right, so this is gonna be our pay-per-view, boys. The last pay-per-view we're gonna be doing in this video. We've got, uh, obviously, Sting versus Rob Van Dam. This is where we're doing it. Uh, this is what we're gonna do as a feud now. So Rob Van Dam, we're just gonna defend his title against Sting with his brand new manager, Bobby Enon. Uh, main event package, Ric Flair versus Chris Benoit. Stone Cold versus Mickey James once again an elimination match. Uh, Mickey James versus uh, and Stone Cold basically a feud package for them. Jake Roberts, Mr. Perfect, Eddie, Jeff Hardy, Ricky Steamboat, Brock Lesnar all in a, a multi-man match. Triple Trish Stratus versus CM Punk, an explosive Barb Ryer match for uh, a blow-off. So it's going to be the end of the feud for them. Triple H, Scott Hall, Roddy Piper, Randy. Uh, Savage, Keji Mudo, and El Generico all in a casket match. Kel Kim versus Lita in a bitter rivals match. So they're once again feuding up together. Uh, Edge, Medusa, Ultimate Warrior, Goldberg, and Hulk Hogan. And Tajiri, Terry Funk, Beth Phoenix, and Matt Hardy, and Justin Incredible all against each other. And a return package at the beginning for Paul Eamon. So trying to uh, hype up his return and stuff like that in, in, within, within two months so november to remember boys there it is the pay-per-view uh last pay-per-view of the day for us they want the fans want rob and them to retain mickey james to retain cm punk to retain and lita to retain so they want every single one of our champions once again to retain the title which is fine by me let's do let's do, do just that so return package done 85 percent effectiveness for paul Eamon. we wanted him obviously to get a bit of overness on him uh, next stop five way so we started with a five way fatal uh, false count anywhere match uh very interesting match plus 10 hype let's see what uh who do we want to win right here what am i going to start doing is i'm going to start actually giving the win to the one that's the least popular right now so Tajiri is the one that is, that is the least popular. So we're going to give him the win. Uh, at a finish, not at all. So let's just give Tajiri the win straight up. Really good match, actually. It ends up being a five and a half star match, which is fantastic. Tajiri gets the win and gets a huge boost from that big time. So uh, really good to see that for him. Five-way LMS match right here. Obviously, we're going to give the win to uh, to. Old Kogan, because he's the one I'm pushing right now. I'm pushing him hard. A very hardcore, boys. Now, if I wasn't pushing him, I would go for Medusa. But I'm pushing the, I'm pushing Old Kogan, boys, uh, big time. Oakster, you get the win once again. Another pretty bad match overall. Three and a half star match. Uh, as long as we can maybe find a way to upgrade his work rate. Once it gets upgraded to at least a level two or something, we might... It might not be as bad, you know. So we just need to figure that one out. And next up, Women's Championship. So it's time for the feud to start up between these two once again. Uh, they wanted Lita to retain the title. So we're just going to do Screwjob Finish since it's starting up. Lita retains. Screwjob Finish, five and a half star match. Really good one again. Once again, boys. Lita is going to be champ for another five months now. So she, the fans really seem to like her as the uh, the women's champion. That's for sure. Uh, next up, six way casket match between all of them. Uh, who's the the one that leads the me most wins right here? Who's who's the least popular basically right now? It seems as though the least popular is El Generico. So we're gonna give the win to El Generico, boys. 
boom just like that El Generico Sami Zayn gets the win almost a five-star match pretty good overall gains quite a lot of popularity from that 80 of popularity just for winning against all of them right there so good for him really good for him next is the world television championship match blow off for that feud between CM Punk and Trish Stratus CM Punk is on a five game uh, five match winning streak right now big time winning streak boys and he's got five he's been champ for five months so that's explains why he's got that many uh wins he hasn't lost ever since he uh, won the title so uh, they want him to retain the title once again as well so this is just gonna keep happening it's just gonna keep the title as well so no switching alliance he just keeps winning once again in another five star match just like that to full to blow out that finish in an explosive barbed wire match at that and uh there we go so both of them gain popularity from that so congrats on both of them F 95 of hype so this is just a regular match that the ai decided to put on i don't know who's the least popular between all of them right here i think it's probably it seems to be jeff hardy so jeff hardy is going to be the lucky one and have the win right here he's going to be the lucky one to have the win so jeff hardy you get the win buddy boom just like that not a pretty decent match for uh, almost a five star match so another really good one so he gets a huge boost from that feud package for the world title 100 percent uh, percent effectiveness and uh, we're starting it off, obviously. So Mickey James versus Stone Cold once again. They want Mickey James to retain uh, once again the title. So we'll give him that. We can't do the screw job finish. Was already held. So we're just gonna give her the straight up win, boys. Boom, just like that. And that is gonna be another five and a half star match. Almost a six star. So almost a six star right there, boys. Very good. We're having some really good matches here. I love that. That's really going to help us out quite a lot. And Trish Stratus' gimmick is going up as well, as you can see. Really good. Jeff Hardy is uh, on his way to become the face of the company. CM Punk's work rate went up to level 3. Everything's going fantastic for us. Uh, 40 of hype. So Ric Flair versus Chris Benoit. Who's the least popular? Chris Benoit is the least popular. So we're just going to give him the W once again. Uh, let's just give him straight up the W right here. Another great match. Five-star match, boys. Plenty of intensity. So that's what you like to see. Great match right there. And uh, that's really going to help them out. Main event package, last but not least, 80% effectiveness. Uh, he's defending his title for the first time, I believe, against Sting. So now yeah, they wanted him to retain as well. We can't do the screw job finish. We can't do the switch alliance either, so it's just gonna get straight up the win. So uh, Rob Van Dam gets the win, boys. Give him straight up the win, just like that, and that is almost a five-star match. Um, could have been a better match for the uh, main event itself, but uh, we're we're gonna put we're gonna take what they're giving us, what the game ge is giving us. So another great finish right there, and Rob Van Dam uh, conserves his title or keeps his title, I guess. And now, for the pay-per-view itself, another 5-star pay-per-view, boys. Literally dominating the competition right here. As you can see, 500k. WCW keeps losing fans. So eventually, we'll be, able to, we'll be able to buy them off in no time. Edge becomes hot and everything. Yeah, we're just having a good time. And now, Bobby Enon wants to go out. He wants to get some, or go somewhere else. He's uh, not too happy, 60% 60, 60 happiness. I guess I'll let him go, boys. I'll let Bobby in and go. Why not? I'm going to accept. You can go to WCW if you want Bobby in. Yeah, you can go there if you want. So Rob Van Dam just lost his, uh, I guess, lost his manager. But that's fine by me. Bobby in can go to the other one. And uh, let's go. So last the ticket. I lost my ticket and could get to a new one in time. I can't show up for the upcoming event, so Ric Flair is not going to be available for the next event, boys, because he couldn't get there. My attempt to reassure Randy Savage did not work, unfortunate. Locker room, I was passing by the locker room and I saw some of the superstars sitting quietly and eating together. I brought out such a homely feeling, I just wanted to share that with you. Okay, skill increased for CM Punk, really good. And uh, the rest is uh, history, I guess. So the rest is pretty much fine. 
So uh, we're good now. So we're going to stop it right here. We got a lot of stuff going on. We also got to go for uh, an indie superstar now. So we just we do have to uh, select a new indie superstar because next uh, after that the next pay per view is going to be uh, the big one with in January. So we're going to be a new year, boys. So I don't know uh, if we want to go for another girl or whatnot. I think we got plenty of uh, women's wrestler. We just got to look for a wrestler in of itself. So I don't know who we should go for. Jimmy Snuka is already retired. So we got to look into that when we see if they're retired or not. I think to compensate for Bobby Enon getting out of there. I kind of want to get uh, the Jimmy Hart. Would be really good, boys. Let's get Jimmy Hart. He's going to be manager to basically... Old Kogan, he's gonna be Old Kogan's manager. It's as simple as that, really. So we're gonna get him to be the manager of Old Kogan and stuff. So that's uh, that would be interesting. So we're gonna leave it for right here. Remember to leave a like and subscribe to the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.